So you can hands on like, Good morning, everybody. Yeah. Good morning. A little bit later than normal. So which is gonna make some of you happy, some of you not. Mm -hmm. But I did jump on at 7 a.m. this morning because I am downtown today in the big city with my dear friend, mm -hmm. Ann Sharkey, Dr. Ann Sharkey. Mm -hmm. D P M. Okay. So she is a podiatrist. But I want to tell you a few things. Um, before we get into all things feet, I want to tell you that we came down. Anne is in from Texas. She recently moved to one of my favorite states in the whole wide world. I think y'all have heard me say that. Um, she moved to North, is it North Austin? Yes. She's in North Austin, but she used to be a Northwest Indiana resident, which is how we met. We'll tell you our story, but um, she was in for the weekend and she said, I'm going to be down in town on uh, Friday, April 12th. Do you want to come do a spin with me yeah. at Soul Cycle? I was like, uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Now, y'all know I've taken a few spin classes, okay? We went down to Soul Cycle, which I've never been to Soul. I've been everywhere else. I've been to Cycle Bar. I've been to Joyride. I've been to Flywheel. I mean, I've been to all of them. Never been to a Soul, and I was dying to go, so this was perfect. And we did um, a 7 a.m. ride with Devin on awesome. Wacker, who yes. was, boom, yeah. Devin, shout out to you. You were awesome. <laughs> he was amazing, and I'm going to just tell you this. It doesn't matter. Um where you go spin if the instructor and the music suck <laughs> it's not <laughs> gonna be a good ride he was point on with his music and his ride it was perfect his energy was fantastic so if you're ever in the city um, and need to go grab a quick spin workout go Soul to Soul Cycle, Cycle on Wacker loop. yep it was on Wacker now if you're not in the city and you're in Northwest Indiana you need to come spin with me because yes I'm the Shizzle. <laughs> the Devon of Northwest Indiana. I'm the Devon of Northwest Indiana. Um, so we are, we're high, I'm high energy, y'all, I'm high energy and I'm bumping music, so it's super fun. Midwest Fitness and Training Studios um, is where you want to come and we do all kinds of other great stuff there too, all small group, um, boxing and uh, strength training and cardio and all that good stuff. But today, um, since I was so blessed to have Anne in town with me, I said, how about we talk about uh, your feet, yes. our feet, everybody's feet, because honestly, I met Anne five years, we were trying to do the math, five years ago, yeah. she moved from Wisconsin, no, uh, um, Chicago. Chicago, to Indiana, from Chicago to Indiana, um, and she was working for UTEL. Um, I worked for Franciscan Alliance, and okay. had a baby, and needed to work out, yeah. so I met up with Tina and Michael. She came into ProFit. Yes. yes, and so then that we that's how I got to know Tina, and um, I practiced podiatry there, so all yep. things foot and ankle, and then recently in September 2017, made the move from Indiana to Texas, and been there ever since. A partner in her own practice, um, more or less, right? Yeah, working with a We're good working, friend from yep. podiatry school, yes. Yes, so oh, awesome. So. We um, so we connected back in ProFit and we we hit it off immediately right away. Um, and I honestly never thought about feet so much in my life <laughs> until I met Anne. And I mean, like I have a flat foot, I guess. Okay. Like I didn't even know this. Okay, so I have a flat foot, and um, so um, I did always have trouble like with different shoes or whatever. Now, like I said, never even thought about how important. And I've been in, I've been a personal trainer for. Yeah ever and your feet are your base of your support for your legs and everything else and never really I've never had problems with them I guess okay. so that's why so you don't think about that I don't think about it right but it, you guys need to understand and know just how important it is your your feet are and then proper footwear now that I've always been a stickler about in the gym I believe that you always have to have an inside shoe so people that tried to come in they've been running around in their shoes all day and then they try to come and work out in those same dirty shoes I don't like that they're dirty number one and then they've been worn like you've, you've for worn other them. Yeah, yes. right. So for other things. And so um, we don't feel like that's proper stabilization mm -hmm. for you to, in the gym. But I'm going to let Ann tell okay. you guys um, the importance of our feet and proper footwear. All right. Well, your feet are important. They get you around. Yeah. And if your feet hurt, your day is meant to go. So yes. I spent some time thinking about what can we do on a Facebook Live that's easy to explain. How do mm -hmm. you pick the right shoes? So I, I took my shoe off. And um, yeah. it's an inside shoe. It's inside shoe okay. right yes so here a few things when you shop for shoes you should shop for shoes at the end of the day because your feet are more swollen so they're gonna you're gonna find a shoe that fits better for when your foot swells I mean I, I didn't even think about that that makes a lot of sense <laughs> if you can go somewhere where they're gonna measure your feet that's gonna help you find an even better fitting shoe if you don't I'm gonna give you a few things to look for to find shoes that fit well so once you try the shoe on um, the shoe should bend where your toes bend 
not really anywhere else. So when you're looking for the shoe, Ann, like when we're... So if you're when it's concerned about the, the size, like, okay. do I have the right size? Am yes, I yes, yes, yes. it? So if you look at the shoe and you have the shoe on and you kind of bend your foot, your big this toe... This is while you have it on then? Yes. Okay. Your big toe joint should be where, where the shoe is bending. Okay. If it's behind it or in front of it, the shoe is either too big or too small and you need to go up or down. If the bend is size. behind or in front, okay. Mm -hmm. It should be right up. Okay. Um, another thing, some people's toe lengths vary a little bit. And right. so, especially for our runners or our long distance runners, once the shoe is on, you want to have about a half inch or a finger width between the top of your shoes and the tip of the tip of the toes okay and that's for those who are going to get a lot of blisters so we'll see a lot of runners after they do long distance they're yeah. they'll get the blood blisters under their toenails and they'll fall off so we can adapt Wait. for that a little bit if the shoes aren't too tight okay um side to side an easy way to figure out if the shoe is proper for your foot for width wise, yes, yep. so take a piece of paper and trace your foot on it and when you take that to the store the shape of your shoe should match the shape of your foot so someone with a flatter foot like you yourself, trace it don't let your five-year-old trace it yeah. for you <laughs> That would be a bad, yeah. a bad trace. And if it's in the driveway, <laughs> they'll they'll think that something else is going on. Right. Um, so those with flatter feet are going to have a wider shoe yeah. foot footprint, and they're going to need to find what they call the shape of a shoe is a last, a wider last. Those with a higher arch are going to have a narrower shoe. They're going to use a narrow last. And different brands have different ca categories of that. Yeah. Nike, for instance, is very narrow. It's good for very few people. Okay. Um, okay. An example. Yeah. Um, so there's a few things with shoes. You want to make sure that you walk around in them in the store. The laces aren't rubbing anywhere. You're not going to get any blisters. That they feel comfortable. Um, you now, we're all talking specifically about sneakers right now. Obviously, right now. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, basically. I mean, yeah, we're talking um, about sneakers, guys. In general, too, I mean, you should not be able to largely do a lot of twists on a shoe. There should be a little bit of side-to-side -side twist. Um, I'm going to... Like the one I hate the most, you'll see people come in these like sketcher go walks, and you can take them and I can fold them in half in my hands. Great. If you can do that with your hands, your foot's gonna collapse the shoe. It's not providing you any support. Okay. Um. So some some tests with that. So let me ask you this. So okay, do you recommend if I'm a, if I'm a runner, mm -hmm. but I also strength train, but I also spin? I you know right? I do all these sure. things. Would you suggest I should have a shoe just for running? You need a specific. I running should have shoe. a cross trainer. Is it a cross trainer we want for strength training? Yeah. Or I think you can could you probably, still use your running shoe in the gym. I would rather have you training? choose a shoe specific to your foot type. Um, okay. If you're, you know, unless you're training for some serious, serious running, then you yeah. probably are going to have a strength training shoe and a, and running, a running shoe, shoe because you're going to wear that out. But um, yes, you you would rather have a shoe more specific to your foot type because. Going into the store and just buying a running shoe doesn't necessarily mean that that's good for your foot versus someone else's foot. And, okay. And I should give you some information we can post online. But everybody okay. has one okay. of one of six foot types, and basically there are two columns. This is good to know. Yes, and on the left column will be people with lower arches, and the right column will be people with higher arches. And when you look at that and you say, okay, I'm one of these six foot types, I can now tell you which type of shoe which is type best of shoe. for you, and then I recommend it, break it down into brands, etc. So. So the short answer is spin, spin should have its own shoes, a more rigid shoe, a stiffer sole. Yes. Um, running shoes, you need to have a good shoe that depends on the surface. Are you a trail runner? Are you a treadmill runner? Yeah. Um, please don't be a barefoot runner. No. Um, so yeah, they, yes. Okay. So the answer, the short answer is you don't have to have a shoe for everything unless, like Ann said, you're an adamant run, you run all the right. time, then yeah, you should probably have just a running shoe and then just another shoe specifically for Correct. the gym. Um, okay, so what was my other question I wanted to ask you? Oh, and then spin, we did, like, we put on our spin shoes today. Clips. I, I totally, I love clipping in. I think if you can ever go, if you're going to really, if you, my riders, they come two, three, four times a week. You, you got to clip in. And I think if any of them are watching, they would say that too, that it's made, it's been a game changer. I think it's a game changer. You get a, a lot more forefoot pain because you don't have the rigid, I mean, they have a pretty stiff bar under the spin shoes. Yep. And so if you're yep. wearing tennis shoes, you're trying to spin, you're going to put a lot more pressure on your forefoot and sprain strain your plantar fascia a little bit so yeah if you, what if you talk can about. get some spin shoes yeah okay good I'm glad that you said that okay so now we've talked about a little bit about athletic shoes we want to talk about let's talk about high heels okay let's talk about high heels because I like, shoes are, shoes are fun I, I love yeah I yes. love to wear high heels but I never do um but when I do okay and I think it's because I'm flat yeah I'm flat foot too right it's hard yes it's hard so what are we doing when what how should we be shopping okay. for 
Um, high heels. Okay, so we're, we're all, we're girls, you know, everyone. I always tell my patients, I like shoes, I enjoy shoes, I still wear high heels, you'll, yes. you'll see me wear them. But things yes. I think, if you can keep a heel height less than three inches. Less than three better. inches. Um, the wider the platform, um, so not a stiletto, the wider the platform, the more support you're gonna get. Yeah. Um, again, looking at what we would call the, this is not a high heel, but the toe box of a shoe. Something that is more rounded and going to accommodate your foot shape better is going to mm -hmm. feel better versus something where your feet are scrunched in there and your toes yeah. are. If, yeah. it, if you do want to wear a pointy heel, just make sure that it's long enough that your your toes aren't wedged into the point. That's really there for looks. Why not do they for even make those shoes? Not sure. Yeah, I mean, that's going <laughs> to drive you nuts as a um, doctor to see a shoe made like that. Kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah, we'll see a lot in ingrown toenails, really pop for people who wear them habitually and their yeah. toes are, you'll see some ingrown toenails and some calluses and things like that. Um, the other the other thing to just look for is that if you have to do a lot of walking, so say you commute in your job or you're gonna get somewhere, bring yeah. some shoes to walk in yeah. and wear Hello. your heels. Hello. Wear your heels when you get there. They're not meant to be walked around. Get the then. get the cute little tote bag for yes. the shoes. I love yes. those. Yes. Um, okay, so those are really really good tips, guys. Um, anything else as far as buying shoes that we should be that you could think of that we should be doing? I mean, we talked about the athletic. I mean, I think these are the they're two most popular shoes that I mean, we're wearing. As women, right. men, you aren't worrying about heels right now, but... Well, summer's um, coming, so let's talk about flip-flops. Let's like, talk about flip-flops. Flip-flops are meant flip -flops. to be in the locker room, on fave. the pool deck, or at the beach. Um, again, that's something you don't want to you don't want to walk around in flip flops. You're there. I don't. No, you don't want to visit the city in flip flops. This is Tina. crushing not, not my soul right now. Flat feet. You're going to develop because, problems. <laughs> because oh, and the other thing we got to talk about yeah. too is because I don't I hate wearing socks. Like I hate okay. wearing socks, and that's why I in love athletic flip. shoes. I hate wearing socks and athletic shoes too. Oh, okay. But Nicole is I just saw Nicole is watching. She'll tell you that when I take my shoes off, she braces herself in case they're going to stink. <laughs> but I do spray them. Okay. So, but hang on. So. We'll back up so to flip-flops. Why, not, why there, not flip-flops though? Outside? So first of all, little kids should not wear flip-flops because they have to grasp their little toe tendons so hard to hold them on. So all ah. the little babies, no flip-flops. They can do Crocs or something that has a back on it. Um, and even as adults, the, the a flip-flop has no heel rise. You have to function at maximal length. I'm laughing at Nicole. Wear socks. Oh my yeah. God, come on, you guys. You're hurting um, my feelings. They just, they don't offer support. So they don't have a lot of shock absorption. You're Suffocate more- Suffocate my feet. Okay, they, sorry. Yeah. Um, okay, but so it, no... I tell people, I understand. I mean, we live in Texas. It's freaking hot. Like you're gonna wear, you're gonna wear flip-flops. Yeah, everybody wears time. freaking so cute flip-flops. If you're gonna, pick shoes, pick, pick better ones. So they have brands where they're called the Vionic or the Fit Flop. This is the flip flop that's like more yes, supportive, and so right? they have more support. So if they're you ugly want though. to- They're ugly They're not cute. They're not cute. <laughs> if you want to function in a flip flop, which I don't Dang recommend, um, get those. But I've been functioning in flip flops very well. And yeah, okay. Call me. She's call like, me no. when. She's like, call me. I'm and gonna, the, you know, my, I'm gonna the, be flying to Texas to go see her. My other pet peeve: don't put your kids in flip flops and let them ride their bike. The flip flop is oh, going yeah, to get stuck is... in the pedal. Danger, danger, danger. Yeah, I mean that's just kind of common. Like, so little kids should be in sneakers um, most of the time. Would, right now, would you yeah, say? Yeah. So babies learning to walk. This is totally off track, but they yeah, actually but we they should, should learn to walk barefoot. That they, they get a better um, proprioception with the yep. ground. And then once, if they're going to be in outside environments or places where their feet can get injured, obviously then put them in a shoe. Tennis shoe is the best or something with a back that ties around on it. Okay. Um, and as kids get older, I mean, even my daughter is almost five and I still don't really let her wear flip-flops because they trip a lot, they fall, yeah. and they're, they have that to makes, work that makes total too, sense. Hard, too hard to hold them on. So I'll um, hold off on the flip-flops as long as I can. Okay. All right. So yeah. we're holding on flip-flops. Um, um, socks are good when you're exercising because you're going to get blisters if you don't wear okay. them. Okay. All right. But, um, All you know, right. But socks are not required. Like, my feet aren't going to be healthy or unhealthy if I don't wear them? No. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, I can't, I can't answer that. She can't. She can't. She cannot <laughs> lie. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's talk about, so what are the most common injuries, right? Like, I think we all know plantar fasciitis. You probably see a sure. ton of that. Like, ingrown toenails you yep. mentioned. Um, I want to kind of just hit on sure. some of those things or the things that can happen from us not having this proper footwear. It really is that important. Sure. Okay, so what are your number like, one most common? common thing we see in the office is heel pain, probably. Heel pain, and okay. And if you study why heel pain occurs. Um, Best in oh, search sure. for shoe, just okay. cyber, we'll come back to that, Karen. Okay. Um, 
the, Good is, question. Thank so you. So they've done a lot of research. Why does heel pain occur in most people? And the, regardless, high arch, low arch activity, it is coming back to Achilles tendon stretching. So okay. if you can get yourself in yoga mm. and do some downward dog or do, I mean, a really dedicated 15 minutes of so stretching a day. Stretches it has to be a weight-bearing wall stretch. Don't just sit okay. on your bed and hold a towel and pull it back. It's not going to do it. Weight-bearing wall stretch 15 minutes a day. If you were to do one thing to either cure or prevent your heel pain, foot pain that you have, stretching program is the answer. Okay. I love it. Um, Perfect. And then obviously there's other things we add in along the way. If it's not getting better, we need to accelerate. It's been around for a long time. But I, we, my partner and I routinely tell our patients, you can do nothing but ice, take an anti-inflammatory and stretch, and this will get better. It's just a matter of how fast we need it to, to get better. Okay. So um, does heel pain mean bone spur? Does it mean You may or anything, may not have a bone just... spur associated with it, but the bone spur is not necessarily causing any pain. It's the tension it's of the, the tens- ligament attached the, to it. The ligaments. Okay. Yeah. So um, now what about plantar? fasciitis how is that caused so the plantar fascia can we fix that? is really an ex- it's a, from it's an extension of or a connection with the achilles tendon the achilles hooks into the back of the heel that wraps around the bottom forms the plantar fascia yep. when your achilles is functioning tight it pre- creates more tension on okay. the plantar fascia the fascia doesn't have a muscle belly it doesn't stretch well so we focus all the stretching on the gastroc muscle and yep. the achilles and that will by that's your nature, calves those are your yeah, calves take the take the tension off the plantar fascia and improve that again you, that usually requires some arch support and some anti-inflammatory Icing. Now, do you see one or the other in more flat-footed people or versus an arch? Sure. I mean, does that I does that foot matter, or is the, it just the repetitive working out, pounding, walking? Can occur for a variety of reasons. Okay. So it can. We can see plantar fasciitis in people who habitually wear high heels and then go on vacation and wear flip flops because the heels are functioning them yep. very short yep. and then yep. they have to function long. You can see plantar fasciitis in people who are very flat-footed because they're more prone to a tighter Achilles tendon complex. You can also see it in high-arch people. It's not discriminated, but I had to say those who tend towards normal to lower arch probably more frequently. Is, okay. But I think that's okay. also, they are just more common foot type in the population. So Okay. Yeah. Um, and then what else were we talking about? Um, um, someone wants to know about arch supports. Yes, let's talk about okay. supports. So arch supports. There are, I would say, three categories. There's over-the-counter, meaning you can go to Walgreens, Dick's Sporting Goods, wherever, and pick it up. There are what we would call a semi-custom arch support, and then there are custom arch supports which are molded to your foot. And people will often ask, well, what do I need? So the short answer is most people can probably get by with an over-the-counter or a semi-custom arch support. And I pulled off, I have a semi, yep. semi-custom in my shoe. Um, that you would hit, come see someone like you to get this. Right. So okay. this is, but we can still use this as an example to talk about what are you looking for when you're going to the store if you want to buy an insert for in your shoe. You want to get something that has a rigidity to it. So this is, I'm going to lift this yeah, up a little bit. Yeah, lift this up. Um, and not put my finger. So I can't push down on it. So those, they'll often see in the stores, there will be gel inserts that are floppy and you can bend them in your hands. This should be rigid. What I want is that this is supporting my arch so that my foot can't flatten and strain the plantar fascia through it. Okay. There are a few brands over the counter that are very good. You can find um, Superfeet. You can find Spinko, um, Power Steps. If you're in Northwest Indiana, the, um, thanks Lynn, the uh, Fleet Feet store, awesome resource. Okay, good. And That's also um, in Munster, the Running or Not shoe store. So two awesome. really great local resources, Northwest Indiana, I'm gonna give them a shout out. They all, yeah, they good. have good, they have great staff. They have respectable over-the-counter arch supports. Um, so definitely check those out and that can be helpful. You can take a shoe that's maybe not so great and make it better by putting an insert in it. Okay, that's awesome. Now, so what if I don't, like I don't have any problems per se. Like I don't have any foot pain. Sure. I did for a minute though, remember I told you that and I'll bet yep. you that yes. was a flip flop issue. Yep. But um, if we don't, so if we don't have any pain, yep. but again, we wanna be sure. preventative because y'all know I love to be preventative. Let's let's hit it, let's, what can um, do? yeah, let's nip it in the bud before anything okay. happens. So would we go to a, would we go to our podiatrist? Yeah. Would we go to just the local store? Like what, if what's you our don't process? have pain, I don't think you need to put inserts in your shoes. Okay. So I think if okay. you don't have pain, if you look at your foot type and you choose a shoe that's appropriate to your foot type, you're gonna be great. You Which don't... again, best way to choose the shoe is to go to like a fleet feed. You have someone, yes, exactly. Their staff will assess your foot type. Yeah. They'll help you find the right type of shoe, the right fit. And even if you 
don't buy it there, you know what you're looking for. Get educated on it from someone who knows. Okay. Um, but they're the best. They have great resources. Yeah, I think that. I think Fleet Feet's awesome too. Um, okay, so do that. So it, we don't necessarily need an no. insert. We just need a good shoe, right. and that's how we do that. Yep. If we are having pain, mm -hmm. we should make an appointment with yes. a podiatrist. Okay, yes. we should make an appointment with a podiatrist and not try to guess it. Correct. Um, not try to. Don't try to just figure push it out ourselves. It. Like, uh, the longer yes. it goes on, the harder it is generally to take care of it. The earlier you take care of something, the faster it's going to get better. Okay, so go see your podiatrist. Um, and then, is there anybody that you would recommend in Northwest Indiana? And now yeah, that you're not so gone, still great, I mean, there are any... great, great co-workers um, in the area, doctors uh, James Hong, a bone and joint specialist, okay. and um, Dr. John Rakoy, and Dr. Fred Deal and Dr. Jason Rosenblum are all great. And y'all, I'm gonna give all this information. I always do um, a Fitness Friday recap. So everything that we talked about today, we're gonna put it in that email. And to get on the email list, go to sensationallife.com. That's gonna be up on the screen. Sensationallife.com, subscribe to our email, and then you just get, and we don't, we're not selling you anything, we're not sending you any junk. It's literally, you're gonna get one email from us every week it's fitness friday and you can garbage it if you want but it's always this recap and sure. giving us we'll all, this all this information we'll put everything out there yeah. um so that's that's if you if you already have some pain or something we're telling you go see a doctor if you don't already have pain just go get some good shoes and do some stretches and do some stretches yeah. now and we can just you don't have to get any fancy equipment no. for that like ann said just go to a hard wall and just stretch that foot and again if this is my foot ann we're putting our we're putting yep, the toes put against the wall toes against the wall your your opposite leg goes back you bend your kneecap in towards the wall and you'll stretch that calf muscle okay perfect the calf muscle guys. I, I have a handout on that i'll give it to you okay what about rolling how do you feel about rolling out the I calves? I think it's fine. Uh, but, like, should we foam be foam rolling? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Foam rolling the calves is awesome, too. That's you can, great If to you do. have heel pain or pain on the bottom of your foot, you can take a water ball and freeze it and roll that. On yeah, the I was going to say about ball, what about the mm -hmm. balls and the water yep. bottles and yep. all that good stuff. So frozen water bottles are great uh, and balls are great, too. Um, what was the other thing? Uh, ingrown toenails. That's a, that's a foot issue, you guys. Like, yeah. ingrown toenails, that happens a lot, and I think people ignore them. Yes, so they're easily treated. And okay. It's my favorite thing to do. Is it? Yeah. Just side note, if she loves doing that. <laughs> side note, like um, it. Okay, what else is, is there anything else that you see coming in that we should be aware of or that we should be maybe paying more attention to? I think our exercisers are it's mostly either heel pain or Achilles. I think we covered okay. a lot of that and it okay. can be taken care of with good shoe wear. Sometimes we'll see pain at the ball of the foot or underneath kind of the toe joints and either that is and what a, yeah, that same thing. It can be your heel, your heel cord or Achilles gastro calf muscle complex is really tight and it's more, really not from stretching. More forefoot loading on there. It could be poor shoe wear. Um, it could be activity. So just, uh, you know. I mean, y'all, we're on our feet all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people are legit on their feet. I'm on my feet right for like 14 hours yeah. a day and i mean because i'm training and i'm are yeah so harder on our body than others right i mean and, and that is holding up you're asking that to hold up your whole body and carry all that weight of your body so um yeah i mean we ask our feet to do a lot yeah. and we don't Take i don't care know that them. we're paying enough attention so i think this was a really sure. great segment to do um we are like all jazzed up right now from our <laughs> uh, beginning we already have we have our protein shakes protein too shakes. you know i brought my made mine at home and had it with me because i'm crazy like that y'all and Anne, I'm so proud mine. to say she traveled. Show me your container. <laughs> Check it out. She traveled with her protein powder. So all we had to do, this was so freaking easy. Now, like I said, I blended mine up at home. Actually, I did this last night because I didn't want to turn the blender on at 4 in the morning when I was leaving the house. <laughs> um, but I blended this last night. I had it in the fridge. It was ready for me to pull out this morning and go. Um, shook it up. It was awesome. Anne had her protein powder in the hotel room that she packed with her. Good girl. All she had to do was come get some water down here at the bar. It was like simple, simple. And we're in some really awesome, amazing, swanky hotel. I think we should give a shout out to the Marriott res residence. Yeah, yeah maybe they'll give us a free room stay or something. <laughs> but you guys, listen, so um, proper footwear, proper foot care, that was what today was all about. Um, we're, like I said, I'm gonna have um, some information. You can yes. tag Anne on Facebook. She's and shark and give, him your, give him your yeah, handle yeah, you can find um, that her name is on again her name is on the feed so you'll see that and you can um you can tag her and then we're going to have the email like i said so go to sensationallife.com get on the email list and get all this great information from us um other than that we are telling you to have a happy and healthy Yay. friday and um make sure that you do good things for your feet we love you too lynn um <laughs> do good good things for your feet and for yourself all weekend long um love you guys bye bye